favorite thing about this relationship. <laughs> Top saying I'm the gold digger. She's the priority pass is. mama. <laughs> what do you call a good rapper? A good rapper? Yeah. I don't know. Bow wow. Fast forward probably about nine hours. We had a quick touchdown here in Dubai and we're now on our second and last flight to go to Stockholm, Sweden. Stockholm. 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 I'm so excited. Welcome. Check this out. Live in lavish. But this isn't our seat, so let's keep moving. There's a group of men, probably from India, most likely India, and they were all just crushing wines, having a big spring break social, all gathering around the aisles. It was pandemonium, but luckily I had my noise canceling headphones. Number one investment if you're gonna go traveling. Did you say it was pandemonium? <laughs> it was. We have arrived in Stockholm, Sweden. Both of us, it is our first time here in Scandinavia. Yeah. First time ever. It is currently springtime here, but... Uh, it's like my winter. <laughs> it, is, it is like Katy's winter, and it's honestly a little bit chilly, but the sun just came out not more than 10 minutes ago, and we're gonna go get some meatballs, because what else do you do in Sweden? This is a very, very popular restaurant here in Stockholm and it's called Meatballs for the People. Oh my gosh, look at the meatballs. They have veal, beef, and moose. Actually, they have wild boar, that's also pretty curious. And they get all their meat from local markets. They collaborate, they work with local farmers. They collaborate, shout out for shout out. <laughs> right now we are in Södermalm. This is known as kind of like the hipster area. Lots of good food, restaurants, coffee shops. Okay, so we got lingonberry juice, we got some goat cheese, and thank you. Thank you. We got the tasting platter, a bit of meat of all kinds. And I have potato puree, which is a fancier version of mashed potato, mm. according to the waiter. Here's to all my fellow Canadians. I think the closest thing I could compare the moose to is probably just like a typical burger patty. And this right here is lingonberry, and this is one of the local Nordic berries. The closest thing I could compare this to would be cranberry. It's got a bit of a bitter taste to it, but it's really, really nice. Meal number one. So far, success. I really love this meatball. Which one is that? It's the beef one, mm -hmm. but it's so soft and compact. Mm -hmm. It's very savory. I really like the mashed potato. Are you gonna try the mousse? Really? Come on. No, I'm okay with the beef. So far, number one thing about Sweden is the Swedish meatballs. Least favorite thing about Sweden is the price. <laughs> the local currency here is called the kroner and you will get to know it very well here in Sweden because the prices are expensive. That meal there was 460 kroner and typically you tip about five to 10%. Some people don't tip. It was really tasty and it was totally worth it, but this is definitely gonna be an expensive trip. Goodbye, money. Goodbye. Everywhere we go, it feels like we're in a park even though we're in a city and nobody's in a rush to go anywhere. It's so quiet. It's me and Kathy when we hold hands. We're gonna have an entire week here. We need to pace ourselves because Stockholm doesn't have that many things to do. It's just so tiny, mm -hmm. you can literally walk anywhere. So right now we are at Marias Barriet. The old town is right over there. It's so, so beautiful. Good morning, it is day number two here in Stockholm. And today we're gonna to be getting around one of the coolest ways you can do it. We're gonna rent some electric scooters. We are using an app, there are two main services. One is called Void, the other one is Lime. We're gonna use Void today. And they are basically everywhere. So I think there was a domino effect here because they're all laying down. I will use this one. Scan the QR code and we are now running. That's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna have an accident. <laughs> Good luck on your maiden voyage. Definitely the best way to get around if you've got like a short to medium distance. <laughs> the awesome thing about it is you can abandon your scooter wherever you're at. 20 minute ride was 52 sec. So that's like $5, I guess? Yeah. Welcome to the old town. So this is 
the very picturesque side of the city and you got your beautiful European style cobblestone roads which by the way are absolutely terrible for the scooter we were going oh, on the scooter uh, 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 and like my mind was like rattling in its cage <laughs> So this right here is one of the narrowest alleyways in all of Stockholm, Sweden. What's the name of this alley? Marden Trotskis. This is how thing it is. Hi, what's up guys? What's up? Welcome to the video. Are you guys from Sweden? Yeah. Oh, Sweden represent. What's your YouTube channel? Los LeBlanc. Yeah, that's the one. So if you come to Sweden, one of the things you'll hear about is called Fika. And basically, it's coffee and dessert. So right now, we're here in the old town. We're gonna try to find ourselves some good Fika. Lovely. And this is the biggest hot chocolate I've seen. Que deliciosa. So good, guys. Wow. Bueno? It's okay. Really? So, that right there is Gamla Stan. If you've traveled Europe before, then you've pretty much seen many things that look like it. It's beautiful, it's definitely a must see thing if you're coming to Stockholm, but if you've traveled Europe a lot, it probably won't blow you away. What they did was they kept the exposed rock from burrowing underground and they made it beautiful by painting it. So this is the central station, the main station here in Stockholm. Uh, but this is one of many stations that have been beautifully decorated like this. So this one's kind of like a Greek style. Yeah, it is like a Greek style. Good footage can be one of the most compelling ways to tell a visual story. Storyblocks is my go-to place for copyright footage for when I need the extra shot. Maybe I didn't have enough time to shoot a time lapse, or maybe I even forgot to charge my drone batteries the night before. It's happened to all of us at least once. Or maybe you simply didn't have permission to fly. Whatever the case is, Storyblocks is an incredible tool for filmmakers to instantly get the shots they need while continuing to monetize their videos. So guys, check out the links down below to get started with Storyblocks and by the way, a huge thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. Yesterday was a really awesome day. It was a bit of a gray one and it's a bit unfortunate because it was our awesome day to get out of Stockholm downtown area. We took a boat from the main harbor in the downtown core and about 30 minutes later we were taken into the countryside where a lot of people have their beautiful summer homes. It was an incredible escape and we hung out with our good friends at Epidemic Sound. That's actually the reason we're here in Stockholm right now. Now the countryside is incredible. It's definitely something that you need to check out but we don't have a ton to tell you about it because of the weather. One of the cool things that I'm getting to do tomorrow here in Stockholm is I'm actually going to be going with a producer, one of the producers that work with Epidemic, and I'm going to be creating my own song with him. And I'm going to release a track on the Epidemic playlist, so stay tuned for that. Sweden doesn't have a whole lot of franchises. You won't see the big names like Starbucks or McDonald's very often, but they do have a few of their own. Instead of Starbucks, they have the Espresso House. Instead of McDonald's, I've seen a few of these. These are called Max. And today, we're going to try it out, see if it's any good. So, I guess uh, let's go ahead and atahar. This might have been a bad idea. Isn't this kind of weird? It looks, yeah. It's like I a think. waiting room. You're waiting for your doctor. It's very futuristic though. It is a little futuristic. Colors. Usually fast food restaurants have bright colors because they want everything to be fast paced. Yeah. But this is all white. And yeah. That is weird. pretty unusual. Burger. Onion fries, latte. One thing that's really becoming very apparent here in Sweden is that everyone seems to be a vegan. And I mean like literally everyone. But even this restaurant here, this fast food establishment, sells portobello mushrooms, which oh is my gosh, as patties. So they I did look try good. Them. It's a really cool alternative, and I think it's a good thing they're pushing it. But I still really love my meat. This is a really darn good burger. No, it's spicy. Deliver it's, it's not, spicy. it is not. It it's is not spicy. I promise you, it's not spicy. Mm. It's all onion. Isn't it good? Mm-hmm. Okay guys, today is our second last day in Stockholm and we want to get around, so of course, there's no better way to do it. So right now we're at Indio Kitchen and this right here is one of the best poke bowls I've ever had. The freshest fish, salmon is amazing and they actually have this like chili mayo, which even Kathy likes and normally she doesn't like spices, so. I'm suffering. Suffering a little. 
So if you're coming to Sodermalm, there's a couple of restaurants I want to recommend. The first one is right here at Indio Kitchen. The other one is the one that I had last night. We went for Indian food at a place called Santi Gossip, and oh my gosh, the tikka masala with lamb was out of this world. All right, guys, this is the world's largest sphere. Basically, it's a big ass circle, and we're about to enter into a pod to go on top of it. I'm very excited. I have big. never been so excited <laughs> in my life for a big ass ball. 110 meters. 110 meters in width? Di Height? Diameter? Diameter. It's huge. So, we begin. Okay guys, so we're basically at the very top of the dome and this must be one of the tallest points you can get to in all of Stockholm because it's a notoriously short city. There's really not that many tall buildings. And so from here, you can see almost everything. You've got like a full 360 degree view all through our little igloo dome. Kathy was saying it should be a roller coaster on the way down. Sure. I think it needs a bit more adrenaline in this ride. You look way cooler online. How much Pictures. was it? Around $16 per person. What's their refund policy? <laughs> there is no. Now, one of the things I really love about Stockholm so far is all the green space, whether you're in a park or by the water. This is definitely a lifestyle city, the kind of place where people kind of suffer from long, long winters, but when the weather gets a little bit warmer, it's not that warm right now, but it's getting warmer. People come out and really like take full advantage of the beautiful city they live in. Dimitri, you've been living here for how long now? It's been four long years. <laughs> four long years. And how are the summers here? Summer is like magical. And this is like an area we hang out during summer. We sunbathe, jump in the water, drink some beer. Dimitri and I have been basically in production all day. We just wrapped up our shoot. I want to give you guys a preview of the song I'm working on. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> Dude, that was so sick. Thanks, man. <laughs> That's so <laughs> dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I can show you the world. So this has been our main way of getting around, guys. Legitimately, at first it was a hobby. It was a bit now of a joke. Now it's a lifestyle. Now it's a lifestyle. We have just arrived at the airport, or just outside of it. But here's the catch: we're not leaving until tomorrow because this is where we're sleeping tonight. I am so excited. We're gonna be in a 747 and we're gonna sleep inside of it. This is an actual repurposed airplane that once was working for many different airlines cruising around the world. And now it's been parked here and turned into a multi-purpose hostel. Our buddy Silvio here has driven us just outside of Stockholm to bring us to our abode. Make yourself at home. Good morning. Good morning. That's pretty cool in its own claustrophobic way. <laughs> yeah. Stay cozy, guys. Thanks so much. <laughs> After experiencing Japanese pod hostels, I think I'm pretty much ready for this. Not too bad. I don't know about you, but I think these minimalist living people are taking things a little too far. We're gonna go sleep inside the plane. <laughs> for those of you who have your early morning flights, this actually might make a bit of sense. How much should we pay? Like 100 euros. 100 euros. Yeah, it's expensive. Well, Pricing. we're in Sweden. Sweden prices though. Bye, Silvio. Thanks for the lift, dude. So, you can come out over the wing and over top of some of the suites down below. The sunset going off just behind us. Oh my gosh, I can shake it so much. I can feel it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm shaking that whole house. Another risk of staying in those rooms. Yeah. Now, this right here is where you come and eat your breakfast. This is the 747 restaurant. They got this like old school diner feel to it. You got the front end of the plane right there. Started in 1976. So this is an old plane with Singapore Airlines. Went on to be Pan Am. Air Club International, I have not heard of. I have also not heard of that one. This airplane's been passed around so much. It's kind of sad. Yeah. Nobody ever loved her. It's okay. I'm happy. It's the first time that I'm relaxed on an airplane. Yeah. <laughs> Now, one of the cool things about this place is that it's so close to the airport, they actually have shuttle that runs like every 10 or 15 minutes taking you to the airport. This right here is our room. 
So, this is without a doubt the most comfortable sleep I'll ever have inside of an airplane, but it's still pretty tight. Down below here we have about a queen size mattress, up above, maybe like a single or a double, and the cool thing is they actually kept the overhead bin. Pop it up. We got some of our stuff. The air hostess is here. In service. Uh, that's okay. Do you want some peanuts? No coffee, thank you. So guys, that is the end of Stockholm. It is a beautiful place. Like, quality of life is all the way at the top. As a tourist, I can't say it was the most exciting place. In fact, it was one of the more boring places I've ever visited, but that's not a bad thing. If you're here to visit friends or family, if you're here to relax, and stay in a cottage, I think that's the way to do it. But if you're here to expect, you know, something crazy, something that stands out, it doesn't have that. This is just a beautiful, beautiful place that's comfortable, that's homey, but that's kind of how I'd put Stockholm. And let's get lost again you in the next say? one. <laughs> it was pretty harsh. What I just said was harsh? Yeah. But it's true. Yeah. We love you guys. We still love Stockholm. <laughs> so if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Love you guys. Let's Bye. get lost again in the next one.